Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to port forward. Let's say you have a networked project or game, such as this chat system, that you would like to use on multiple devices and send to your friends. Now on my project, I'm using the port 1477. You can use any port you would like. I believe it's any four or five digit number. Now, assuming you're on Windows, head over to your search bar, type in Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security. Once here, head over to inbound rules, click new rule, select port, Next, then we'll type in our port, so 1477, select TCP, allow the connection, and you can name it anything you would like. So let's just do a tutorial and press finish. Now, let's do the same thing. Select port, select UDP, 1477, allow the connection, and tutorial. Now we want to do the same thing for outbound rules. So let's select outbound, new rule, select port, 1477, TCP, allow the connection, and finally, port, 1477, select UDP, allow the connection, and tutorial. Now open up your command prompt, so type in CMD, you're going to right click and press run as administrator, and once in here, go to type in IP config, enter, and now you want to look for your default gateway, mine is right here, so going to copy that. Now open up your browser and paste that in, this will bring you to your router. Now these next steps will vary based on your router that you have, but in general, head over to firewall, select NAT gaming, or if you have an option for port forwarding, select that. Now go ahead and select custom services. You can create a new service name. I'll call this tutorial. Select your port range, so 1477 to 1477. The base port will also be that. Select TCP slash UDP and press add. Now return. Select your device, so mine is desktop, and press add. Next, you will need to get your public IP, so simply type in what is my IP to Google, and you'll head over here and you'll see it right here. Now copy that. Head over to your project and replace your 127.0.0.1 and replace that with your public IP. And now, as long as you connect to this IP through this port, you'll be able to connect over the internet. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this story helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.